Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am back with a very exciting video because today I want to talk about the labels in PineScript. And you'll be using these labels in almost all your scripts. So in order to plot a label, what label does is it plots a label, for example, at the low of this kernel and there will be some text in the middle. So whenever our con certain conditions are met, the label will be plotted at the high or low of that kernel where we want to plot it. So let me just go and show it through uh, to you through example and practically so in order to use the label we need to first of all call the label function and that label function is label dot new okay label dot new and then there are a bunch of arguments that this label function takes those arguments are x position y position now x position is the number of candles on the which we want to plot that label for example if we want to plot on this first candle second candle because every candle has an index for example this is the first second third fourth and the real time candle is actually called the zero candle and then there is this first second third fourth and it goes on to the back till the first count so using the x position we can specify where we want to plot the label it does sound a bit complicated but it's pretty simple as i'm going to show you then there is this y y value or the y argument which defines at what y price do we want to plot the label and where our condition is met we'll plot the label at that y position for example most of the time you'll be using either a high or low of a candle as a y value for your plotting your label and then there's this text argument which means that what text do you want to plot inside that label for example let's say if you want to plot a label when a candle is bullish then you can say bullish candle and then that label will be plotted so let me just go ahead and put these arguments one by one and then you'll be able to understand them so our x let's say is going to be x is equal to now these arguments are not these uh, assignments are not necessary but i'm going to do them anyway because uh, it will be easier for you to understand so the x position is going to be our bar index and the bar index means that current bar and at each current bar our label will be plotted and y is going to be high of a candle and then we have a text argument that needs to be specified so the text is going to be i'm just going to call it label and that it needs to be a string so for example if i say label and then now only these arguments are necessary so you only need to specify these arguments and without these arguments your label will not be plotted so now if i save it and add this script to the chart you will see that a label will be plotted with the label text now you see this being plotted in the separate window so i'm gonna go ahead and force it to be plotted onto the chart for example if i say my script and I, if i said the overlay, overlay argument to be true then this label will be plotted on top of the already present chart and now if i go ahead and add to the chart you see that on each candle a label is being plotted now there are certain number of labels that are plotted as you see it only goes back till this candle so if i count this you can see that the label is being plotted for 46 bars and this depends from chart to chart so now you see that labels are being plotted so how do you actually use them if i wanna let's say if i wanna plot a label only when a candle is bullish then i can define that in my condition for example if i say i wanna plot a label when let's say there are certain number of ways you can define it separately and assign it that condition to a certain different variable or you can specify that inside an if statement or like there are a lot of ways that you can specify so for example if i just use the most simplest one that is if open is less than close then i want to plot a label okay and i'm going to indent it for spaces or one tab that will make it right according to the pine script stru uh, structure so now if i save it you'll see that the labels will only be plotted on the bullish candles and now i can also go ahead and change the text of bullish candle okay and similar can be done for other conditions so you see how specifying different conditions you can change the label position and you can 
plot the labels at different levels now let me go ahead and uh, talk about the other arguments that are needed for example one argument is the color and that color is what color do you want your label to be for example if i specify the argument of color to be color dot red you'll see that these labels will turn into red color okay and now there's also an argument for the text color and we can set that text color to be let's say color dot white and now the text inside these red candles will be red labels will be turned into white so you can specify all these arguments and also another argument is the tool tip and size and text align there are multiple sizes that are available for example size is equal to size dot and you see there are multiple sizes that are available for example by default it's normal i can also set it to huge which will make these level very very big and might even be uncomfortable for you to see so you see like that now the labels are very big so i'm gonna set it back to normal size dot normal and then the next argument that you need to know is the text align and tooltip now text align is basically used to align the text that is being ins used inside this label and then the last argument is tooltip now tooltip is very good way to specify what that label represents for example if i just go here and here i can i can just say that tooltip is um text and that text is plot a label for bullish candle okay and then i can save it and now when i will be going into a setting there will be a tooltip that will be being displayed for example here i can see that there's a label and inside here if i go to see here there is a tooltip that you see plot or bullish uh, label plot a label for bullish candle okay so these are all the arguments that you can use in order to plot labels and you can use any type of conditionals for example uh, as you see this is the most simplest one you can make your scripts more, very much complex for example when i was programming my supply and demand indicator that indicator was uh, only plots the label when a supply or demand zone is formed for example here you see there's a formation of this drop based drop demands supply zone then only when these conditions are met the label will be plotted and also you can use these shortcuts for example you can use this forward slash n to start a new line and again here you can put some text for example i put this so now if i save it you see you'll see that this text will be let me just put a forward slash here so now you see this text will be divided into two lines as you can see here on this label and you can also concatenate the text for example if i go here and if i just say that i also want to include the close price of the current candle then this will throw me an error because this text is a string type or string format and this close is actually a float so i need to convert it into a string for, so i can do that by using str dot to string and i'm gonna change this to to string str dot to string so let me just again remove these to string and then inside here i'm gonna put the close so now this close value of float will be converted into string and added into this so now if i save it you'll see that this close value is also being plotted onto the chart which is very good and you can use your numerical values inside your labels so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i'll love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you